mixing with my career building tip, the spiral of improvement. Um, what's interesting about, um, usually people talk about things and how they happen in cycles. And uh, what's interesting about cycles is we often think of them as being circles, like you kind of start where you pick up. And we think of this with almost everything we have, like the earth rotates, it rotates around the sun, it spins on its axis and all those sorts of things. And the idea is that what you have is uh, something that is always going through that same exact circular path. But when you think about the universe, it's always expanding. So the sun is moving too, and it's moving outward. So the earth, while it's rotating around the sun, is not actually going in a circle, it's going in a spiral, because it's never in the same place. And there's an interesting kind of parallel to life here, because everything that we do in our lives doesn't come around in circles or in cycles. It actually goes in spirals. And generally our spirals kind of go in one or one of two directions. We're either spiraling down or we're spiraling upward. And um, this is like um, a really interesting way of looking at how you develop your career and how you kind of work. Because you don't ever really shoot straight up in anything. You usually spiral upwards or you spiral downwards. Things go really horrible and then you start spiraling downwards. And if you don't pull yourself out of it, the spiral becomes tighter and tighter and tighter. And like going down a drain, you just spin right down and you can't pull yourself out. And so there's an important thing to like breaking this kind of spiraling type of energy in terms of going down and also enhancing it as you rise. And one of the ways of doing this is by constantly focusing on the improvement of everything that you do. The parallel and the reason why I even thought of this um, was that when I was um, starting off as an engineer, I think one of the, the biggest things that people always used to say, there were always catchphrases at any given time. One of the biggest things that people used to say was like, you know, the quality of an engineer is always defined by what their drum sounds like. Drums are the most difficult thing to get sounds on. And uh, and so I really focused my energy very hard on on constant focus really heavily on getting great drum sounds. And I got a lot of gigs. I got a lot of uh, hired for a lot of jobs for my drum sounds. And so that energy and time worked really well. But what I noticed was that as I started to go through the process of working on drum sounds, I would be get it. So it's like, okay, my drum sounds are basically pretty good now, but my kick drum sound really sucks. So I would focus a lot of energy on improving the kick sound try this, sandbags, you know, all kinds of different things to, you know, tuning, hole here, hole there, no front head, you know, everything. Different mic, this mic, that placement, you know, up close, near the beater, multiple mics, every kind of configuration until I kind of got a sense of really honing in a kick drum sound. And then when somebody brought in a kick drum, I would kind of know what to do right away. And then as soon as I felt like good about my kick drum sound, it's like, but now my snare drum sounds suck. So I would work on the snare drum sound. And as I would improve that through the same cycle of different things with tunings and mic placements and all that sort of stuff, then my tom sounds would suck and I would improve that. And now I wanted to make my overheads better. And as I would get that, I would circle back around. And now when I went through all the different elements of the kit and I got back to the kick drum, it's not like I lost my kick drum, my ability to get good kick drum sounds. It just, it was not at the same level as all of the other sounds had progressed because I became better as an engineer. So I wasn't in the same place as I was before with the quality of my kick drum sounds. I was in a different place. I had spiraled upward. And now I kind of got back to that same sort of pathway where I needed to revisit my kick drum sounds and make them better again. And everything that you do is this way. When you're mixing, it's like you may find that you get you like your ability to do compression or EQ or effects is really, really good. And then what you'll find is that you're suffering in some other place and you're mixing. And so you focus on that. You improve that. And as you improve that, you come across the next thing that's not quite as good. And you focus on that and you're continually growing and getting better and better. But it's not a circular movement and it's not a linear movement. It's a spiraling. You always come back to things. You may think you know all you need to know about reverb. And then you cycle back around and it's like all of a sudden I don't like my reverb sounds anymore. And the more you focus on it, now you kind of regain that and you, you like you rejoin that and you figure out how to make it better to bring it up to the level now that you've brought up the level of your equalization and compression and other things so this is like a um a parallel that works with everything in our lives and in and i'm focusing in here particularly on the career development side because that's what this tip is about but it's also about your personal life and so as you everybody runs into obstacles 
and everybody runs into problems. Everybody has things that they don't want to happen in their lives. There's no way to avoid that and no amount of wishful thinking or uh, belief in, um, um, you know, the, uh, uh, that, you know, like just meditating or only thinking positive is only going to bring positive things into your life. It doesn't really do that. All it does is it helps you to change the way you perceive things that come into your life. So everybody will have situations where family members die or things go wrong or whatever. That's a natural part of the course of life. There's no way to avoid those types of things, no matter how positive you think. But it's how you approach those things. It's like, okay, well, now this thing is not happening the way I want. How do I find a way to overcome that? How do I kind of find a way to get better at that? And you improve and you spiral upwards with life the same way that you do with your audio um, with your mixing techniques, with your recording techniques, with everything that you do. And it's important to monitor that. And that's why I bring this up. Instead of uh, the circle of improvement or the cycle improvement, let's call it the spiral of improvement. That's the Mixing with Mike career building tip.